आर यू स्टिल कंफ्यूज विद द टाइम फ्रेम ऑफ योर ट्रेडिंग चार्ट और आर यू बिगिनर इन स्टॉक मार्केट एंड स्ट्रगलिंग विच टाइम फ्रेम टू एनालाइज वाइल यू आर डूइंग चार्ट एनालिसिस सो इफ यू हैव सेम काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम देन मेक श्योर यू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज यतीश पटेल एंड आई एम फुल टाइम ट्रेडर एंड ट्रेनर मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स एंड द बिगिनर फेस दिस प्रॉब्लम विच टाइम फ्रेम टू लुक इन टू द चार्ट एनालिसिस whether it should be daily weekly monthly or sometimes whether it should be 30 minutes 15 minutes 5 minutes or maybe 1 minutes so this is a confusion from most of the trader who are experienced or fresh so if you have a same kind of problem then we have a solution and just focus which time frame to trade so first of all we need to understand what is time frame time frame is a certain period in the some event occurred in stock market in definite period the price fluctuation happened with going up and down so that's how candlestick record the fluctuation of price in definite period of time sometimes this candlestick time time horizon is 5 minutes 15 minutes or maybe 30 minutes sometimes 60 minutes also so that's how you if intraday traders are uh, prefer this minute candle so in definite period of time of 5 minutes or 10 minutes whatever the price fluctuation happened up and down recorded in that candle of particular 5 minute or 10 minutes that's how you can uh, identify on a smaller time frame the fluctuation of the price and if you are a new into the stock market and just started reading charts and analyzing charts then the daily time frame is the best period of time frame to analyze the chart and study the stock because in daily time frame the fluctuation is low compared to the minutes chart okay so if you are beginner just start studying a daily time frame analysis so if you are still confused uh, with the time frames then let's jump to the charts jump to the screen and i will show you how you can set a time period particular time period and how you can select daily weekly time frame to analyze your chart so let's jump to the screen so welcome to my whiteboard screen and you can able to watch it my screen so now let's understand our time frame so first of all what is time frame so we need to understand first time frame so sometimes what happened we will just start with the uh, market start at the 9:15 in the indian markets i'm talking about a uh, some stock price fluctuation starts and stocks making some kind of high and after that it come down and sometimes it plays a low and again going up so that's how this i am talking about this on a daily so uh, this is your opening price this is your high price this is your low price and this is your closing price so that's how candlestick consists of four prices open high low and close simple so same way if the stock price uh, is we are now coming down to the 15 minute chart or 30 minute charts so you know now our time minutes charts so in just what happens when market starts and we place a 15 minute time frame chart so the candlestick of 15 minute record the opening of the price stop going up and down and forming high again coming down and again coming up so here it closed you know after a 15 minute of interval because we choose 15 minute time frame so this is the opening price this is your high price and this is your low price and this is your close price of 15 minute every 15 minute this open high low and close were marked in particular candle that's how 15 minute time frame uh, built up on the charts 
so if you are selecting 5 minutes the 5 minutes open high and low and close recorded in that candle and so many 5 minutes candle form a 5 minute time frame chart this is you this how you can analyze the short term time frames so let's uh, i will share my screen and charts so this is uh, some kind of upl chart and i have marked here in this platform this is day d d one day is denote one day so i have placed a one day chart so in this candle open high low and close consist of one day period daily time frame and if i want to convert this time frame into 15 minute so here from this we can set any number 1 minute 3 minute 5 minute 15 minutes so i want to place a 15 minute time frame so i'm clicking on my 15 minute time frame i am just removing the moving arrows uh so this is my 15 minute time frame okay so uh, on the particular day this is 9:15 our uh, opening uh, you can be see below here the period of time period 9:15 in the morning the first candle is 9:15 to 9:30 so this is a high you can see here high or at left side of the corner high low open high low and close of that 15 minute time frame and consecutively all the candle denotes the 15 15 minute time frame a high one high low and close that's how you can analyze with 15 minute time frame and also 5 minute if you choose the 5 minutes from here you can also find this is 5 minute open high low and close so 5 minute is a very smaller time frame where you can um, able to catch a fast movement in the market and then 5 minute time frame or maybe 15 minute time frame is very useful many of the intraday trader using this kind of uh, charts in uh, their intraday trading because of this fast movement all the fast movement happen on a smaller time frame first starting with 1 minute 5 minute and 15 minute so 1 minute and 5 minutes is too much fast if i will place a 1 minute time frame so this is how 1 minute time frame is very very fast because it denotes one minute open high low and close same again and again repeat so particularly around 15 minute time frame is ideal and very good time frame to trade for intraday traders sometimes many of the traders using 5 minute time frame it's also okay and nice uh, there is nothing wrong to use in 5 minutes time frame but particularly 15 minute time frame is majority of the trader are using and even i also use if i want to trade in intraday then 15 minute time frame i will select as my chart analysis time frame so that that's how you can able to choose your time frames so if you want to trade for in intraday or for smaller time frame like you want to trade and enter the stock and after 1 hour 2 hour or 15 minute 30 minutes you want to exit then this is the best time because this fluctuation is so fast and you can capture that volatility and fluctuation with the help of 5 minute 15 minute time frame okay and if you are a swing trader or a positional trader then 15 minute 30 minute time frame will not be able to useful for you so you need to convert your chart to a daily time frame so daily time frame is good for swing trading because the entire day move captured in one particular candle okay so no 5 minute 10 minute but entire day move open high low and close consist in this particular one candle so that's how the volatility of the stock price is lower compared to the minutes time frame chart okay so if you are a swing trader and positional trader so you need to have low volatility okay stock may be uh, going forward to gain uh, align with the current trend if the stock price trend is up then eventually stock price is also moving up slowly and steadily that's how you will make money in swing trading and positional trading but if you are a intraday trader and you are using one minute uh, one day time frame on weekly time frame that will not helpful in your intraday trading same way same way 
when you are marking weekly time frame so here from this one week you can select and this one candle denotes weekly time frame so in the opening of the week open price entire week high price is recorded entire week low price is recorded and the friday closing consider as a weekly close so one candle denotes one week so if one two three and four candles so four candles four weeks that's one month that's how if you are a medium to long term investor and trader then you can able to use this weekly time frame so it has a very low volatility compared to daily time frame because entire week move captured in one particular candle so that's how you mark your chart time frame whether you should would like to trade intraday trading swing trading positional trading or maybe mid term or long term investment sometime many of the traders uh, also use the monthly candles so one candle denotes one month so opening of the month the first day of uh, maybe first date of the any of the month open price entire month high entire month low and the last day of the month close should be considered as a monthly close so one candle denotes one month period of time so here you can see the march entire fall uh, this is april this is the may month and the june is going on in this chart so you also able to find the trend of the particular stock for the longer time frame because this is a monthly chart that's how you can able to uh, use the different different time frame so now i i would say you have clear idea uh, whether uh, you should uh, want to trade intraday trading then what is the time frame you are using correct 5 minutes 15 minutes time frame is good for intraday trading and if you are a swing trader and positional trader then daily and weekly combination will be useful sometimes many of the trader are also using weekly time frame for their positional trades but daily time frame is very good for swing trading so this is the main difference between intraday trading time frame and swing and positional trading time frame so if you are a beginner then i would suggest you will start and your analysis with a daily time frame because on the daily time frame the fluctuation volatility is low so you can also mark proper your levels and you can also review your levels after few days so very easy to understand daily time frame rather compared to the day uh, intraday trading time frames like 5 minutes and 15 minutes so if you are a starter and newbie in the stock market and technical analysis i suggest you to start with five uh, daily time frame don't use 5 minute and 15 minute time frame. and if you would like to trade in intraday then 15 minute finance is good so this is the main conclusion of time frames and i hope you are now clear with the time frames uh, which would you like to pick your time frame to analyze the chart now decide by your own so i i hope i i add of so much value into your knowledge and if you like this video hit the like button and do subscribe my channel wait for my next video thank you so much